a new design on an expensive London corner. We try to translate a new design, of course, a new modern design, modern uh, architecture. A building bringing change to historic London. There's nothing like that in South Kensington that I know of. So that's a bit of an alien, uh, an alien part of the design. A modern Iranian embassy in a traditional setting. Number 16, Princes Gate in Kensington, has been known as the Iranian Embassy's London address for years. A building that fits in the community, but has been a place for expatriate Iranians to protest against their government, and has seen many a demonstration ever since the Iranian election results last June. Thirty years ago, the world watched as gunmen held 26 people hostage inside the embassy. The six-day standoff only ended when the British military launched a dramatic attack on the hostage takers. The new building will only be a few streets away, but very modern in style. There are more grade two listed buildings in this neighborhood than one can imagine. For the past 15 years, the future home of the Iranian embassy has been used as a car park. The very adjacent building to that car park is a great two-star listed church which dates back to the 19th century, designed by the celebrated Victorian architect William Butterfield. Um, my chief concern is how the setting of the wonderful great two-star listed church by William Butterfield is affected. And actually what this building does is it sets itself back a little bit so you can still appreciate the views of that building and crucially it hasn't attempted to compete with that building by choosing the red brick. It's gone for that overall white colour scheme which we see in other buildings of the area. The big question is the, the, the use of voids, the cut out space around what I think is going to be the cultural centre. Some local residents are not happy with the embassy's plans and what they say was a short consultation process. In this particular block, very few people I've spoken to seem to have been consulted. Because of the schools in the area, very close to the site, some people have expressed me concerns about security, a lot of children in the area. Some people have expressed concerns that there might be demonstration. So the, the key thing is for people to have a forum where if they have anxieties, they can actually express these. Armin Danishgar is the project's creator, and he says the bold, dramatic design is his most traditional work. We try to translate a new design, of course, a new modern, design, modern uh, architecture, with, with all respect of the area, all respect of the church, all respect of the windows, even, even the doors on, on that area. Some experts suggest that the new building portrays a welcoming and open image of the Iranian government, hoping to shake off its old persona. For now, St. Augustine's Church stands alone. Karen Zarindas, BBC News, Central London.